Alright, I'm on a roll this week with YouTube videos, so my friends will get off my ass and stop telling me to keep posting YouTube videos, but here I am. So, this time, like a lot of my other videos, somehow I'm like the winch guy on YouTube. So, got a new winch. Some of you guys don't have a Harbor Freight near you. Now, you know, I've done a lot of Harbor Freight winch reviews, and I'll show you one that I'm probably replacing with this one. Here in just a second but we're gonna do an unboxing also so we're gonna see this together all I've done is cut the tape so I don't cut myself on camera obviously I got a plate probably won't use this anybody won't use that uh, probably putting it on a side by side this is what this is for there's the brand it's 5500 pound two-year warranty that's better than Harbor Freight stuff in there all right I kind of cheated and took all the plastic off because it would be a nightmare so if you're looking at those and think what the hell is that you can this is the the detent for free spool you have three different colors you got the black one that comes pre-installed the red one and the gray I don't know what you'd use that for uh, it's kind of cool sometimes these do break um, the little thing on the inside will break so that's cool that they give you extras I don't really care what color it is, especially not red or gray, but if it fits your machine, it might be cool to have a, a red one or a gray one. So that's kind of neat. Um, also the other thing that I like is the way this box is integrated. You pretty much hook power ground and into the motor. Rubber Freight does that quite a bit differently and I'll show you that here in a minute. So this is definitely better easier to wire easier to mount i like this a lot and another thing this has that harbor freight doesn't it comes with these now this is kind of ugly and bulky but that does two things for you number one keeps you from losing it if it's big it doesn't get lost in your pocket number two it has two of them so you can leave one in the truck or whatever one in your pocket i probably keep this on my waders like stuck in there the waterproof pocket on there but there is another thing that goes along with this that I do not like and that is the switch Harbor Freight used to do the same thing but they changed it on the new style winches you can see my review on those on this channel quite a bit further back but this is designed to mount to like a roll bar or a handlebar or something like that I don't like that. I hate that. You know, that's cool and all for a four wheeler, but something like this, or my X3 that's in the garage over there, it's cold, or I'd show you that. You want a, a toggle switch in the dash. And this, you probably could modify this to do that, but most people are not going to do that. So this is going to look terrible in the cab. So that, that sucks, but that could be used only when your battery dies or you lose this or get lost in a mud hole. It should be waterproof, I would hope, because it's a freaking winch controller thing. But if this works, ideally, you won't need that ever. So there's that side of the spectrum as well. Now it does come with a roller fair lead, not a hoss fair lead or whatever. The other one is because the one that I opted for, uh, or they asked me if it was okay if they could send a, a steel cable, and I said sure because of what I'm thinking about doing with this. But here it is. It's sitting here. I, I, it looks good. Maybe I would put the red one on there just for a little bit of extra color. But these are the only two wires you have to hook up to this, and then you have power and ground. That's it. And I know. Most of you people hate wiring. So this is like one of the most simple wiring kits you can do. I mean, Warren, I think is even a little bit easier, but it's way more expensive. I think this is about 200 bucks. So now I'm gonna show you the difference between the Harbor Freight one I have and probably what I'm gonna do with this winch right here. All right, so here is my other setup that is probably gonna get replaced. So this is a Harbor Freight winch. 
It's an older style, as you can tell, because it's gray. And this is what I'm talking about with the switches. This is how Harbor Freight switches used to be, which I hated. And here is the same switch. But like I said, this one comes with a, a wireless controller, so ideally you would not need that switch. But this one also has a plug like this, but with something else. So I had this one set up to where if you weren't scared of the rope breaking, you could stand next to it. This plugs into the front and has a good bit so that if you're worried about it breaking, you can stand back. Now I'm going to be putting this one on here, which is a steel cable, which I know is way more dangerous if it breaks than this synthetic rope. But this synthetic rope will break, number one, a lot easier. And number two, it can, you know, rub up against stuff and break easier also. This can rub on some steel for a while before it actually breaks. So there's pros and cons to everything. But I want this setup to be super versatile. I can hook it up to my trailer, hook it up to my truck, hook it up to my side-by-side. -side. If I have a friend with a side-by-side -side that has a receiver hitch, I can run like a, I want to have a quick plug on the end of it. Or I could just take a battery into the woods with this and winch stuff into a tree or whatever, you know? So that that's the ideal thing with this. But now, between the two, I'm really going to show you the benefit of this here design. And that is this right here. This is your normal relay or winch control, whatever you want to call this. You have to hook up, I know this is kind of confusing, but two of these yellows, two of these blues. It should be yellow, blue, red, and black. So one of these yellows and one of these blues is power and ground because it's all I had. And I haven't finished it out yet. But you got to hook up all that shit. Then you got to hook these up, which get loose, and then they quit working. And I put it all in this box. And I had to make a custom bracket to uh, fit it on this winch, which will probably work for that winch also. So I may use this somewhere else. I may use it here. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below. But that's the main benefit. So if you're looking at a winch and you don't like wiring, this is a good one to, to use. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below, obviously. Uh, go on their Instagram. I'll tag that down below too. Tell them I sent you and uh, tell them to give you some money off. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. They didn't tell me they would, but if you ask, they might. So I guess that's going to be it for this video since it's just an unboxing video. I'm good at talking. Um, also, I'm going to start a uh, sticker store so stay tuned for that uh, let me know if you have any redneck inspired designs or ideas for me in the comments or on my instagram and uh let's see if you've made it this far to the end a few of you if you dm me on instagram you got to be following me on instagram you got to be following me on tiktok hit me up there too and on what whatever this is called was youtube all of those things, I'll send you a sticker. Well, it's a decal, but whatever, you get it. Peace out.